You might remember these earphones from CoStar. They are called the CoStar Diamond and I reviewed them a few months ago. I called them the most affordable truly wireless earphones with active noise cancellation. And I think that's still true even today. I mean, I can't find any other good earphone in this price that has decent sound quality first of all, let alone active noise cancellation. So CoStar invited me on a two day round trip where I could go to a city of my choice and spend two days testing out these earphones and noise cancelling in different environments. And yes, there's a giveaway as well. Four of you will get a chance to win one of the CoStar T300 diamond earphones. And in case you didn't watch my last video, you should know that CoStar is a pretty new brand from Singapore. So this is their first ever product. It should be interesting to see how this performs in real life scenarios. So let's go. Obviously, I was a bit rusty because I hadn't been outdoors for a while, but this was a good excuse for me to get moving. So we arrived at the Mangalore train station. I decided we'll go to Bangalore and we would board the Vista Dome train. You know, it's one of those sightseeing trains with giant windows and everything. It was recently started, so I thought it would be a good experience. We reached earlier to the station than we expected, so I decided to run some tests. You know, train stations are pretty noisy, so I whipped out the earphones and turned on noise cancellation. It definitely helped with reducing the humming and hissing noises around me but I could only hear the high-pitched sounds like the clattering of the trains and the loud sirens and if you play some music on top it'll be a great experience and while walking around I accidentally dropped the earphone Sorry, CoStar, it was an accident, but it kind of managed to come out without any major scuffs or anything like that. So yeah, even though it's a plastic body, I don't think you have to be overly cautious about, you know, taking care of this. Now, I'm not saying go around dropping and throwing this thing around. You should always take good care of your stuff. But this thing can handle a few accidental drops. I even had some conversations with my friend while this earphone was in my ear with noise cancelling on. So human conversation is not a problem. Finally, the train arrived and we boarded the Vista Dome. A pretty interesting train, you know, a much more spacious feel than I thought. It has panels up top and large windows on the side as well. Unfortunately for us, it started raining immediately. So it dirtied up the windows quite a bit. But I decided while we are waiting, let's see how the noise cancellation works indoors. It absolutely helped with reducing the, you know, the noise again from the surroundings, I could hear people talking, but it wasn't really as annoying as not having anything in your ear. I tried it with both ANC off and on, and yeah, there is a noticeable difference. It's really good at reducing those low pitch humming sounds like the sound from the AC, for example. I even made a phone call back home saying that I have boarded the train and uh, well, the call quality was decent. They could hear me just fine, but they could also hear all the other people around me talking. So just like many other wireless earphones, these are like just good for casual phone calls every now and then. But they are surprisingly functional and they get the job done for the price. So that's what matters. On the way, I compared it to my current earphone or rather the earphone that I previously used, which was a Crossbeats Air, I believe. It was twice the price and didn't have any of the noise cancelling features. It didn't have nearly as good of a battery life as this thing and it had a micro USB port for some reason. This thing has type C as every device should. I believe all devices now should have type C. And I'm not comparing it to an ancient device that is like one year old. So yeah, this CoStar Diamond is definitely punching well above its price range. It was a really long journey, you know, it's almost 9-10 hours. So I spent a lot of time listening to music and just having the earphones out all the time. And yes, the ANC was on throughout the journey. On a side note, if you haven't boarded the Vista Dome before, I recommend you try it out. In some ways, it's a better experience than first AC. I mean, they have indoor catering. You can buy stuff right there so you don't have to get down at any station at all. And you can just swivel your seat and get to watch all the scenery on the way. It is a daytime train, not a nighttime train because what can you see outside at night? But I think the price is well worth it. I definitely recommend it. There were some delays with other trains, unfortunately. So we arrived like two hours late to Bangalore. But it didn't matter because we made it just in time for our hotel and we managed to get our dinner. 15 minutes late and we would have lost our dinner. There you go, a quick room tour. It's a little bit smaller than I expected for a 3 star hotel, but yeah. Who cares? We are tired and these are comfortable beds. That's all that matters. I woke up earlier than expected the next morning, well rested and ready to go. I did not charge the earphones at all even after using them pretty heavily throughout Saturday. And I'm not surprised that they still have battery life left because I never charge them for more than once in a week. So these are ideal for traveling and using them with ANC all the time. So we had a couple of hours to check out. So we sat there after breakfast at the buffet. And again, I thought to check out the ANC and I'm trying to simulate the experience of ANC off and on. So take a listen.
That's kind of what it sounds like when you turn on ANC. It reduces the surrounding sounds by 25 decibels, so it gives you a little bit more comfort in your ears. You have to keep in mind, this thing is tiny. For it to be able to reduce that sound that much, it's pretty amazing. We decided to take metros instead of taking cabs everywhere because metros are faster and it gives me a better idea of, you know, how to use the earphones in these different environments. So we took a one day pass of metro, again, highly recommended if you're traveling in Bangalore for a day. Besides, metros are a little bit more interesting. I don't have much experience in metros, but I've taken a lot of cabs. So this was a good change. I couldn't record much footage inside the metros because literally they take one minute to get from one station to the next, which is a wonderful thing. You know, you're never stuck in traffic. But we've made it to our second destination, which is Kaban Park in UB City. It's one of those premier luxury locations of Bangalore. So we thought it would be a good chance to roam around. It was quite windy outside the UB City mall. So I decided to check out how well can this cancel out wind noise. And well, yeah, surprisingly well. It can reduce the wind noise to a very mild hiss from a loud experience in your ear. It, it becomes almost negligible when you play something. I couldn't hear the traffic behind me swishing around. I couldn't hear the wind. It was really great. Only thing you have to make sure is that the earphone is seated well in your ear without any major air gaps. Same goes for water noise as well. Like there was a fountain with water splashing around. It managed to reduce that sound quite a bit too. And since it is an active noise cancellation, you can just walk around and it'll dynamically change the, you know, the cancellation level based on the changing noise around you. Now, are there better earphones with better noise cancellation? Yes, but they're also 10 times the price. So obviously this is great value for money. We went over to a pretty famous restaurant in the place, had to wait for 15 minutes just to get in. And while we were in, it's a pretty loud and bustling place. Here's what the ANC sounds like off and on in that environment. <laughs> Yeah, it can definitely save your ears from a lot of annoyance. We finally made our way to Kaban Park, one of the most famous locations in Bangalore. Surprisingly, I've been in Bangalore for three years, but I never went to Kaban Park. It's a pretty huge park. It's almost like a small town of its own. Noise cancellation wasn't needed much because it was already a pleasant environment, but still, it helps out even more. So we roamed around, spent some time there, enjoyed ourselves. And all the while, I never worried about the battery life of this thing. It kept lasting me through the day. We did run into a small problem though. Our train ticket unexpectedly got cancelled because we booked it at the last minute. So we were kind of worried what to do now. So we instead booked a bus. I'm well familiar with bus journeys because that's what I usually take. I've never taken train journeys as much. So it's fine. I mean, I understand. It was a festive occasion. So yeah, we booked a bus seat, managed to arrive at the station on time and the ANC helped out reduce the people's chattering noise inside until the bus started moving. And finally, I reached home pretty much expected on time, still having plenty of charge left on the earphones. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the battery life even though I kind of knew it already because I've been using it for a long time. So yeah, well done Costa. The ANC and the battery are a great value for this price. As I said in my review, the only thing I would improve a little bit are the microphone clarity and that's about it really. And now for the giveaway part. I mean, I don't have the units with me yet. Costa is sending them over as I'm making this video. But I think I'll do the giveaway partly on my Instagram and partly on YouTube here. So by the time you're watching this, there will be a post on Instagram. Uh, you, I'll leave a link in the description. And of course, you can comment down on this video as well. Just comment on the post tagging two friends on Instagram and comment down on this video telling me something about this earphone. Like what feature do you like or why do you need it or which earphone are you using now? Oh, and also sign up to their website using the link in the description. Just create your account, first name, last name and an email. And don't worry, all of these steps will be in the description. You can follow them one by one. We'll give it about a week's time or so, and then we'll pick random winners using the comment picker tool. And then I'll send those units out to you for free. Good luck on the giveaway. Thanks again to CoStar for providing these units to you and for providing me an opportunity to test them out.